All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill. Welcome to the channel. It's February 16th, 2024. I got back yesterday from my trip to Alamo Lake State Park in Arizona. A nice, uh, a nice park. I want to make a correction. I said that my measurements indicated it was a Bortle 4.5. Actually, after I recorded that video, I took my handheld uh, sky quality meter out and started pointing around various places uh, in the sky. And actually, I got a 21.53 reading. So that puts it in the Bortle uh, 3 range. So uh, very happy with that. I, I knew something wasn't quite right because I was seeing a lot more stars than... I expected to see for Bortle 4 or 5. So just wanted to clear that up. But the purpose of this video is really an immediate need that I'm going to address and I think I should create a playlist called Spending Money Again. Uh, I've been using the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box uh, Advance. It's a great uh, distribution hub for both power and USB but I no longer have, this no longer provides me with enough USB ports. In particular, since I added my Wander Astro Mini V2 rotator, and I want to reduce the number of cables going into, or USB connections going into my new mini computer, the B-Link SER5. So I knew I needed to do something, so I built a simple spreadsheet and just laid out what ports do I need, what USB ports do I need, and what speeds do I need. And the other thing I was doing was I was piggybacking my filter wheel and my guide uh, camera onto my um, ASI 294MM Pro camera using the uh, little hub that's part of that camera. And... Um, but then I was ultimately having to plug that into a USB port that had a speed of 2.0 speed. So anyway, um, I laid things out and I was aware of a company called Wanderer uh, Astro. And I've made a decision to purchase the Wanderer Box Pro V3. I had previously purchased the Wander Rotator Mini V2. Um, I purchased these through AliExpress. Uh, the uh, experience, purchase experience for the Rotator was fine. Um, and the level of documentation available on the Wander Astro site uh, was adequate um, and worked for me. So I made a decision rather than uh, try and purchase another Pegasus Astro, maybe go in a little bit different direction. So I decided to buy, uh, purchase the Wanderer Box uh, Pro V3. I placed the order this morning. I may not have it before the March new moon, but that's okay. But I always like to keep viewers informed of what I'm doing as far as equipment. And in the event you, one, have experience with this Wanderer Box Pro V3 and tell me, time out, you're making a big mistake, uh, that's always valuable. Or maybe you've had an interest in this product, you've been looking at this product because its price point uh, might appear more attractive to you than the Pegasus Astro uh, price point. And uh, we all have different budgets and, you know, there's a natural tendency to want to extend our budgets as much as we can, but we want to make sure that when we're going for the lower price point, we're getting the value that we need to meet our uh, imaging needs. So again, this is the the other thing is there's there'll be a uh, a way to mount this onto my fixture that I have right now with my Red Cat 51 uh, that also holds my EAF and there's a slot there that I used to put my ASI Air Plus in that in that place and now I'm going to uh, be able I believe to put the Wanderer Box Pro V3 and then the majority of my cables are going to be up high and they're not going to be hanging down. One thing I'm not really fond about with the ZWO AM5 mount, excellent mount, performance is excellent, 
but the way they have the azimuth um, knobs and uh, the knob for uh, changing your altitude, they're really, they catch cables. And that's kind of like the last thing you want. I don't like their placement there, but overall, I'm super happy with the AM5. But that if I have one, um, one critique, it's uh, the placement of the, uh, the knobs in the back for uh, adjusting azimuth and altitude. But again, I think that just comes down to me needing to do more to properly uh, manage my cabling. So the Wanderer Pro will be uh, a new addition. I should have it in a bit. It uh, has um, a lot of USB ports. It's going to have three USB 3.1 ports and six USB 2.0 ports. It's manageable. So there is software that you'll be that I'll be able to use to manage manage it, control uh, the ports. It has a dew heater capability that can be managed. Um, and uh, again, the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance was a good box, and um, you know it it performed really well. Uh, had no issues with it, but it just does not. It no longer my needs have changed. It no longer provides the number of ports that I need. So that's about it. Uh, the Wanderer Box Pro V3. Uh, once I have it, I'll do a video showing it in place and with all how I'm now managing my cables with this box. And I'll identify any issues that I might have uh, adding the box into the into the configuration and share that with you but I really need to address my cabling and uh, you know I'll, I want to be able to sleep at night I want the flips to go without any issues I don't want to be worried about cable snags and those type of things and uh, it was really messy using this again the Pegasus Astro uh, Pocket Power Box Advance as a product is fantastic I was just you know uh, I have too many. I have a need for too many USB ports now, and so n not a knock against this box. When I first bought it, it it you know it provided the number of ports that I needed, but my needs have changed. So, all right, uh, that's about it. If you like this kind of content, uh, please smash the like button. Always appreciated. I will do a separate video on my trip, a recap of the trip. It was a good trip, and I'll start today to process the data for the Seagull Nebula uh, M42, and uh, I did shoot some of the Leo triplet, but I'm not going to process that data right away because with a 250 millimeter focal length, the triplet is kind of really small, but... Um, I did do a live stream, that video is up. I was trying to highlight Tom Palmer's target scheduler, a plugin for NINA, Nighttime Imaging and Astronomy. I'm finding a lot of value through that plugin. If you're a NINA user and not currently using that plugin, you might want to consider it. If you're a NINA user and you're having trouble uh, using the advanced sequencer, uh, his plugin makes it super simple in my view, so you might want to take a look at that video. I'll be doing more on the uh, Target Scheduler plugin uh, in future videos, uh, but I'm I'm sold on it, and uh, I'm really committed to using it uh, uh, going forward. All right, wherever you may be in the world, hopefully you're going to have some good weather. I took a look at what the forecast is currently for the new moon in March in my area and it doesn't look good but I'm not gonna whine it is what it is alright thanks again for dropping into the channel see you next time